It's research that could one day help spot which women are most at risk of breast cancer. We all have BRCA genes in our bodies, but if they're faulty in a woman, they're much more likely to get the disease. These Cambridge scientists have found what may be the earliest sign things are going wrong. So, Sarah, when you look down the microscope, interestingly, you can actually see what's going wrong, can't you? Yes, indeed. If you look at the tissue when it's normal, you can see that the uh, branching is quite bare. Uh, so that's like healthy breast and tissue. And this is healthy breast tissue. Whereas if you have the faulty gene, then all of a sudden you can see appearance of all of these uh, blobs uh, in the tissue. And this is not supposed to be there. It does look totally different. So that blotchiness is effectively the beginnings of cancer. Yes, yes. These are the structures that will develop towards uh, cancer. Five in every thousand people have this faulty gene. Finding out leaves women with a binary choice. Risk getting ill or have your breasts removed. Famously, Angelina Jolie had the surgery. Funded by Cancer Research UK, the long-term goal here is a blood test giving women much better information. Not everyone goes on to develop breast cancer and some only develop breast cancer very late in their life. And if we have a way of monitoring the women over their lifespan and tell them now is a good time to take the surgery, then this would obviously um, allow the women to make a much more informed choice. Interestingly, similar changes happen in the breast when you're pregnant to help you make milk, but that's healthy. Outside of pregnancy, though, it can be dangerous, a revelation they weren't expecting. Yeah, it was very surprising. And in fact, I think the first time we saw it, we thought something went wrong and we were tempted to just abandon, abandon ship. Um, but uh, it, it's, um, it actually makes sense when you think about it that you know, these cells are specialized to go down that road. Um, so it, it's possible that just a mutation pushes them uh, that way in the absence of a, a normal pregnancy. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting finding and it's telling us something about the biology. Lots more research is still needed, but by finding these early signs, they hope thousands of women could one day be spared unnecessary surgery.